Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia and Spain. Nature is important to us. We try to work with it, but it's difficult. Today I've cleared some of the weeds leading towards the garden area and around the house. It grows so fast, soon I will not be able to find anything. What a change from the dust a few months ago. We also have the roses here, the beautiful red one. I have taken some cuttings of this last winter and they are growing. A few months ago, I removed these cuttings from the sandbox and I prepared a little garden here on the eastern side of the creek where there are big trees so they are not in the full sun the whole time. And here we have the daughters, what a beautiful experience to have my own roses that I have reproduced. Beautiful. Also the yellow one. I like it. Two of these dogs, they now have these fluorescent colors. These are electronic remote colors. When I was away, they learned that they could chase cars and it's something very difficult to get out of them once they like it, it's their natural instinct, but it's working well. It's just a buzz, and then they look up towards me and they come towards me, so we can solve that problem hopefully for once and all. I don't want them to chase cars, it's too dangerous and it's not necessary. We chase many other things here. The last two days I have also spent removing some of these thistles. There are two, three types. It's actually amazing how Easy it is to see with a flashlight at night. As if they become fluorescent themselves. <coughs> it's uh, I don't mind having them here. I just mind where they are. These thistles, they are a staple food in Andalusia. Each and every part of this thistle is prepared in such a way that people consume it very happily. Also, they even make a, an alcoholic beverage from it. This area had a lot of them. So uh, it's important for me to take it out now and uh, becomes very difficult later on. It's uh, five hectares is a huge area to search and uproot it.
they prefer um, full sunlight, well-drained soil. So uh, I encourage them all around the natural areas, the conservation areas, there they can grow happily. But in these areas where I tend to plant, I don't want them here. There's another one. This one. It doesn't look so severe, but the whole area was covered with it last year. And uh, it's impossible to walk through. So I start removing that as well. I think this is where the sheep used to be, under these trees here, and uh, it's a lot of this. What's there, Luna? This is a, another dead anthena, the Spanish oak. Several of them have died after our two-year drought that we are going into, the third year. The trees don't have that many leaves as in the past. They are suffering. It's also still too wet to work in this pond area. I will rather start here on the western side and carry on with the swale because this will take quite some time. I also have another issue that uh, four days ago when I took the farmer's wife to the airport on the way back I totaled my car, wrote it off, and uh, now I have no wheels. I cannot even go and buy some uh, diesel. So I'm trying to make some other plans. Let's see what comes from that. It's quite awkward not to have transport. Till next time, goodbye.